Hello out there, night guy coming back at you. We're uh, just moving right along. Uh, we have before us uh, chainmail mittens and a set of chainmail gloves. Um, I've been uh, looking into hand protection as well. Um, of course, your hands tend to be one of the most vulnerable uh, pieces of the body in uh, melee battles or duels involving weapons. Um, so uh, hand protection is paramount to your success. Um, you need your hands and fingers to operate your weapons correctly in order to uh, defend yourself or score a point in our, in our case. Um, so uh, me and Tiger Ninja can both attest that uh, getting thwacked in the hands is never pleasant in any way, shape, or form. So I've been, uh, you know, um, dabbling around in different... Uh, options and ideas for hand protection um i have a set of uh plastic uh gauntlets i guess you could say that was kind of my start got them from dark victory armor it's made of high polymer plastic they have actually a neat little setup of different armors which um i'm actually looking to try uh comes about 300 bucks for uh their full body protection um Arms, legs, knees, elbows, um, waist, hips, uh, chest, back, neck. Um, it, you're pretty much fully covered in what they offer. Um, and it is a very, very strong hard polymer plastic that they use. Um, I decided to just start with the gauntlets from them. Um, and it was pretty effective. Um, it just, it's not really what you would normally think of when you think of a gauntlet. It covers kind of the top of your hand. If you could pick, here's my hand. It covers the top of your hand and it covers a good chunk of your wrist. And it's very, very thick. So it definitely, uh, you know, encourages blows to, to be warded off very, very well. Um, the one thing I'll say about them is a little bit too big. So sometimes they honestly get in the way. And I think they, in, they encourage protection so you don't get hit. But they also kind of encourage hits, so to speak, just because of how big they are. Um, let me know if you want to see those in a video. I'll definitely upload a video with those, but they don't offer any finger protection in any way. Um, like I said, it just covers the top of your hand. Your fingers are free, free floating. The plastic extends a good amount in front of your hand. So basically when your hands are on a sword, uh, like this, especially if you start turning in, the two pieces will cover and you're pretty well protected as long as you're holding a sword, but not a hundred percent. Um, so I was looking into some other options. Um, we've been using, uh, impact protection, uh, motorcycle gloves just because you can get them for super cheap online. Uh, so I figured that would be a good start. Um, I also showed in some of my other armor videos, I use, uh, slash proof, cut proof, stab proof. I shouldn't say proof. Resistant is a better way to describe them, but they're sold and marketed, you know, as stab proof and cut proof. Um, just cutlery gloves. You can get those online. You can get them in most auto, auto parts stores, um, you know, just to keep yourself from getting cut. And I would wear the impact protection with those underneath, giving, you know, not only a second layer for impact, prote impact protection, but just in case uh, anything happens to get through, we do use blunted steel weapons uh, sometimes when we train. And um, as you're training out there, um, sometimes the weapons clash and they get a little jagged sometimes. So it can become dangerous. Um, like I said, always say safety is first. Uh, so, you know, I take my grinder to them and file and I, I definitely round them back out and get them back to uh, safe training specs. But anyhow, um, you know, uh, the motorcycle protection works pretty good as well. But it kind of really just covers your knuckles. Most of those gloves cover your knuckles more than anything. And not every little little piece of your finger. And unfortunately, your fingers are pretty small. You know, um, you take a blow to the leg, you take a blow to the shoulder or the arm, it hurts. But not as much as taking the full force on an individual finger. Especially if your, your hand is, you know, grasping a weapon and you take a blow... Your fingers are now, you know, let's pretend my finger is the weapon. And I take a blow. My thumb is, is the other weapon striking. I take a blow on my thumb. You see how my left thumb here is pressed up against my finger when the blow comes in. 
Um, you just smash your fingers really bad. It hurts like, like crazy. Um, and we don't want that. Nobody wants broken hands. Nobody wants broken fingers. So, um, you know, I, I'm looking at a modern day equipment. Um, there are some really expensive options for training gauntlets. Um, I don't know if it was Red Dragon or one of these companies make a really nice mitten styled gauntlet, high polymer plastic. I'm interested in trying them out. I've heard mixed reviews, but we're talking up in the $300 range or more just for a pair of training mittens. And I don't have that kind of money to just blow right away, you know. Give me some time. Maybe I'll, I'll invest in them. Not to mention, I follow a few uh, guys online. Uh, Skullgram, uh, Lindy Beige, um, Matt Eason at Skull Gladiator, all those guys. And, um, you know, I've gotten mixed reviews from them as well. Um, I consider them pretty knowledgeable on those gloves. They offer a lot of protection. But the general uh, conclusion seems to be... Uh, the more hand protection you have, the less hand movement you have um, a lot of the time. Um, it seems like individual fingered gloves or, or gauntlets may not be the best idea because the fingers are still individual and even though they're padded and covered, uh, you know, it's mass versus mass at that point. So sometimes it's better to have a mitten styled shell gauntlet where it's just basically one piece where your fingers are. So... When a blow comes in, it doesn't just hit one individual finger. Um, um, so yeah, you can definitely get those, but those are a lot of money. So I started looking into some other, you know, less expensive options. And I decided to go uh, similar to the Middle Ages, what they would use. Um, and here are my new pair. Just got these in today, actually. This is a pair of chainmail mittens. Get my thumb in there. You can see that, just slides over the hand nice and easy. Still have a uh, good movement on the hand. Tight leather there, I'm gonna have to break that in. Uh, but I can definitely hold the weapon. Uh, what I like about this is I could still kind of move my fingers freely in there, you know? Um, and that's kind of what motivated me to get it. Um, to, to get these uh, chainmail style mittens. Uh, being that it's chainmail, I know it's not gonna impede the movement at all, being that it's kind of a mitten, I should be able to still move, but at the same time, it's almost like one piece if you get hit there. Uh, this one has a very good amount of padding, I'm going to say, if you can see in there, this is pretty thick. I'm very, very impressed with that. Um, typically, chainmail isn't recommended um, as good armor for impact. However, um, I've definitely noticed that if you wear it with, you know, some good padded garments underneath, good gambeson, or, you know, just a bunch of layers of uh, fabric or clothing, um, it actually does work decent against some impact. You know, I've never been hit with a mace or anything like that. But, you know, most of the time we use the swords, occasionally axes, uh, some staff type weapons. Um, then again, let me, full disclaimer, we, we operate at a very controlled pace. So, you know, we always keep the safety up. Um, so, you know, we definitely control our strikes and blows, but, um, the danger's still there. We've definitely taken hits and hurt our hands before. Um, and I think these would work really well. You know, it has the padding there. Um, I know I've used this pair. This is a pair that I, uh, originally received in. Um, you know, this was definitely seen a little more use already. You could kind of see some, some rust setting in on the thumb there. Gonna have to oil these. This one had a, has a decent amount of padding, but not as much as the red ones. Um, I do like that both of them have the wrist covered all the way around. It's not just on the top. You see on both of these. But I think I prefer this one because it has this little slit here. This is a nice solid piece and you're covered, but I like the slit. I think that'll give me a little more motion, a little more range of motion, I should say, uh, when I'm out there. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to using these. Tiger Ninja has been using these already. He's uh, all but claimed them as his own. Um, I think if I combo this pair with, you know, some nice uh, maybe impact gloves underneath it, um, I think that'll work very well. The mesh will act, you know, as a good uh, good protection for anything that gets in between those knuckle, knuckle pads on the gloves. Um, and... Uh, of course, the knuckle pads will work very well for any, any solid impact. 
So I, I think, you know, this would be very effective, a nice, uh, less expensive route. Um, Chainmail mittens aren't too expensive. You could get them, you know, anywhere from, I'm going to say, uh, 30 to, to to 100 bucks or higher, um, depending where you get them from and who makes them. Um, originally, if you see here, I started back here with these guys. These are uh, Chainmail gloves. And it's just a butted chainmail, not the cool riveted stuff like these bad boys. Um, just a solid, you know, standard leather glove. Not much padding on this one. Um, so I wasn't too pleased with that. Um, having the individual fingers on these, uh, I'll go ahead and slide that on. Honestly, was not a plus. I thought having my fingers able to move freely would offer more dexterity. But these things are so thick. On here, you know, there's a nice thick layer. You can see it's kind of ripping already. That's another thing I wasn't too proud of. But there's a thick layer here that really gets in the way. So you really can't use your fingers anyways. Um, I found that, you know, I'm much better off just with a nice mitten like these bad boys. Because your fingers are all free in here. So you can move them around and you're not going to get too impeded. Um... Not to mention, I don't like that it does the, the chain mail doesn't go all the way around. It's only on the top portion of your hand, you know. So this this just wasn't a good idea. These look really cool. Um, they're semi-effective. My, my, my thumb took some hits, and uh, it's uh, exposed there, so I'm going to have to find a way to cover that up again. But I'm pretty confident that these are going to perform a lot better. Um, I definitely would recommend to anyone if you're going the route of hand protection and you're considering any chain mail as an option, definitely go ahead and go with the mittens over gloves. All right. Um, thanks for joining us. See you out there on the field.